Today, pretty much everybody has a smartphone, and with that smartphone becomes a library of apps. Now, if you want to find the best apps to help you study and revise physics, then stick around for this video. Hello, welcome back to another video. My name's Joshua from Fail Teacher, and along with all the videos helping you with your GCSE A level physics, helping you today to find the best apps to help you study and revise physics. If you're new to this channel and you're studying physics, have a look around. Lewis has pretty much covered any subject you could ever want, but if there is anything you ever need, put them in the comments section below and we will get to them. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing, but let's delay no further and get into the first app. So, the first app we're looking at today is called I want to say Gojimo it's a quite a simple app you can just dive straight in and it's free and it's not just good for GCSE physics but if you go to add a subject you pick the level you want so say for example GCSE and you've got a list of all these subjects you can take so it's it's an app that it could be used for all your subjects that you're revising for it's free simple to use so it's a bit of a no-brainer to at least try it out well, let's go on to physics. Now, when you go on it, first of all, what you need to do is go to the top right hand corner and change the exam board. So if I change it to AQA and AQA 9 to 1, and it's in the top right hand corner. Now, what it does is gives you a list of topics. Now, it's worth checking at this stage if the topics matches up to what you've been learning, what's on your course specification. And what you can do straight away is just take a quiz and the quiz will do everything of the topics. Now, it'll actually only ask you five questions, which I found a little bit odd, just only do that little. But what also you can do is just go into a topic like energy, and you can just do a quiz on energy. Now, at the end of the quiz, it will just give you a little breakdown. If I just do one on energy, let's test my knowledge on energy, it's been a while. <laughs> energy can be neither curated nor, I'm gonna say destroyed. Yep, and it gives you an explanation. Now, I've seen this before now it, as you can see it gives you quite a detailed explanation which is great if you wanted to learn more it gives you an external link which is not there's nothing wrong with that I just don't like that it's Wikipedia and I've had I've had a nose around this app and it's always Wikipedia now Wikipedia not only can people change it it's just the kind of information you get from Wikipedia might not be appropriate or sensible to use in the exam you know it can be kind of general and sometimes too detailed just bear that in mind you know try and avoid wikipedia if you can but anyway at the end of the quiz it just gives you an idea of how well you did to be honest it's just a simple way of keeping your mind sharp around physics and other subjects now the second app is called gcse physics it kind of does what it says on the tin it's just an app for gcse physics it's been made by teachers. Now, when you first go in the app, it can seem a little bit tedious to put in all these details. It also seems a little bit old school, to be honest, and um, just because I'm used to like signing with Facebook or signing with Google accounts. Um, but in this case, you have to put in those details, but that's all you need to do. Now, when you get past that, you are met with a screen that just tells you. Now, when, when you go past that, you would have an option to pick what you what exam board you're doing. If for any reason you picked the wrong one, what you can do is go to options. And now you can pick which examination board you want, AQA, Edexcel, OCR. They're the only three options. Whether it's a double or triple award, as you understand, there's no more single awards. And if you want to do higher or foundation. So if I just do higher AQA, double award, save new options, it takes me to that screen. And now I can look at picking some subjects. Now you might have noticed straight away that some of them are greyed out. You can't pick them. And that's because, and a, a bit of a shortfall for this app, it's like you need to pay. Now it's 99p for that or 299 for all of them. You're not exactly breaking the bank, but before you go ahead and do it, I think just have a look at a normal one. So go on to energy, the first one, and it'll give you a question. So what factor or factors does not have an influence on the stopping distance of a car? I'm guessing the crumble zone. And I'm right, and it gives you an explanation. And that is pretty much this app. It's a little bit like Gojimo in that it's just text space it's just quite simple but it is effective and it's just a good way of carrying revision in your pocket have a little play with it if you like it and you think it's worth the 2.99 and maybe buy the rest of it now perhaps one of the cooler features is what is called past papers it's actually in the bottom right hand corner you just click that and it gives you some options now i've got to be honest i've looked through it and it's only edexcel that really has decent material i mean if you go on aqa you only got one sample assessment material and when i click on it it says edexcel in the corner so, you know, I have to take this uh, this part with a pinch of salt. Um, but Edexcel, it seems to be pretty decent. It has a higher paper on there, but that's it. And if you just click on it, it just gives you some of the questions. 
I mean, pretty simple, not too, not too difficult to use. Um, but the main bit is the questions. It's just a good way to quiz and test yourself in your pocket. Again, it's, it's, it's free to use and it just doesn't hurt to have. Now my third app is an app you probably heard about before and it's called Quizlet. Now it's an app where you're able to build flashcards, build your own revision sources and share them with your friends, share them with others, or you can access the community to look at other people's resources that they created. Now, if I just go on to search and if I do, I don't know, AQA physics, GCSE and I come up quite quickly with just some things I can use now remember these are created by other people like you and me so they're not created officially by AQA but it could be done by teachers but always take it with a grain of salt you're not too sure of what you're coming across so you know if anything you're too unsure about maybe check it up but I don't really think anyone's deliberately going to be making false information just uh, just be careful in that aspect you know I know some people have had the experience before where they've used somebody else's set and they said it was actually some of the information there was incorrect but it's also a good way to test yourself to make sure that what you've discovered is right now how it looks is when if you say you click on one you've got a few options you can look at flashcards you can write your answers you can match them which is like kind of like the card game pairs or you can do a test if I look at flashcards Charge flow times potential difference, tap to face park, energy transferred, in brackets, charge flow. I don't know if that means anything to you. That kind of went over my head, but that's because I haven't done physics for years. I'm sure Lewis would be able to go through that with you. Now, the safer bet is to make your own resources, and you can share them with your friends, or perhaps you and your friends can take a subtopic each and share the workload. There are many different ways you can use it, but that's it, that's Quizlet. It's just an app where you can create your own resources, share them with your friends, or find some that you might want to use from other people. There's a different variety of features. Some of the better features you do need to pay for, but I think you can get a loan fine just on the free version, but you can have a free trial, and if you like what you see, maybe you want to buy it. But that's it, that's my free apps, Gojimo, GCSE Physics, and Quizlet. All free apps, just worth having a play around with. They're all free to start with. I mean, Gojimo is free completely. It's what I call pocket revision. It's just something that when you are out and about, maybe you're commuting on the on the bus, on the train, you're waiting for your next lesson, you've got a break or anything like that, you can just take your phone out and just do some revision. Just do a quiz, test your memory, and just keep yourself sharp. And I think when it comes to like Gojimo, and GCSE Physics, there is enough there that you can embed it into your revision strategy because you can learn as well as revise. But I wouldn't rely on these apps solely to teach you. They're just there to help test you, keep you sharp and prepare you for the exam. Now, if you think I've missed any apps out or you want to share one, leave it in the comment below. I'd love to hear about it. If there's any apps you want me to review in a whole video, I mean really dissect it to how it might be able to help you, let me know about that below as well. If there are any videos you'd like to see, just let me know, put in the comments or comment anything. I love comments as I've said before. Have a look around the channel for anything you could need to do with physics. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.